Yo, what's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be making a video on Kage and how to use it. It's a really good sneaker bot. It's currently CLI and it should be coming out with a UI soon. So I'll make an updated video when that comes out. So for getting it set up, if you go to the updates channel under the Discord, there should be a download link. If you scroll up, just go to the most recent download link, tap on that, and then use whichever link is which system you're using. I'm on Windows, so I'll use that. Then after it's installed, you can just open it up and it should look like this. All right, so when you first enter the bot, it'll say some, it'll say the name of the most recent update. Then it, if you haven't put in a key yet, it'll say there's a problem with your key, please activate it again. So do that. You wanna type in key and then space, paste your key. I'm gonna blur mine because I don't wanna get stolen. Then you press enter. Welcome Kyler, type, and it'll say your key type. And then after this, you're good to go, so it's working. And to see all the list of commands, you press dash H, and which are all the different commands. If you forget one, it'll be here. So it's useful to have when in CLI. So the first thing I'm gonna go over is how to import profiles and proxies. So you wanna start by doing import. And so to pick either profiles or proxies, you wanna type what's in the brackets. So I'm gonna start with profiles. So I'll type one, enter. And so you wanna drag the file where you created your profiles. And to find what to import, you go under the Discord, you go to, you go to import profiles, tap on this link, and then you can manually make them here. You make a copy and then you save it as a CSV after, and then drag the file into the bot. Or you can do, which I did, I make, you can make it an AYCD and just import it from there. So I'll do that. Open up the file, Kage. And then this is my profile file. Import and press enter. And these should all turn green, which shows they're working. And I will say total profiles 27, which is good because that's how many I imported. Then to import proxies, it's pretty similar. So you type import again, you do two for proxies. So this is a name you want to be. So I'm gonna be using my Scarlet Resis. So I'll type Scarlet, whoops. So after that, then you want to take the file where you have all your proxies in a notepad. So to do that, I already have them in a file, so I'm not going to make one. But you just go to the notepad, paste all your proxies here, save the file. Then you take the file, which I have here, put it there, same thing, then you press enter. Now that you have your profiles and your proxy set, you can start to make your first task. So to do that, you type the command create task, dash task, enter, drop site for foot sites. So let's say I'm making one for foot locker. Then the skew would be, you can find the skews under cage and then just go under the foot sites monitor. I'll just do this, which is non-stock, but the Jordan 1 Volt. Copy that here. Enter. And as you have to select your profile. So if you just want all the profiles, you can just type in 29 for all of them. If I just want some, say I just want to use one, three, and six, and I don't want to use the other ones, I'll just go one, three, six, and separate them with a comma. I'll press enter. And task quantity is how many tasks you want for each profile. So say I have three profiles and I use three quantity, so that'd be three times three, which is nine total. Size, if you just want a random size, you can type in random. And then if you just want a few, say I want like just big sizes, I'll go for 11, 11 and a half, and 12, and you wanna separate it with commas. In proxy group, so I have my Scarlet Resis that I put in before. So I'll press one. 
account and for no if you want to use an account. I don't know why you would for foot size. Just and jig, jig address. I already have mine jigged from AYCD, so I don't need to do that. And there you go. So then to start the task, you do this command task start all. Oh. And after they start, nothing will happen, but to see them going, if you type in task watch, these are some getting session because they're not in stock right now, but they'd be seeing like add to cart and stuff. And then to get out of task watch, you just press enter once or twice. Yep. And I can remove the tasks by either typing remove task remove task all or once for each instance you have open you would type in helper and this will show up and i can just press remove tasks and you, you have to press exit after you also wanted to set up your webhook you just type in webhook then you paste your webhook i'll grab mine So to bind your webhook, you just type in webhook and then you paste your webhook. You press enter. Webhook successfully changed and it's good. And then to test your webhook to see if it's working, you type in webhook test. I'm just gonna set here. All right, now using delays for Kage to set there's three different types of delays. There's error delay, checkout delay, and monitor delay. And for each one, so if you want to do error delay, you just do set dash dash, I'm oh, sorry, no, set dash error 3500, if you want a 3500 delay, so error set. And then you just do the same thing with set monitor, whoops, set monitor, 3500 and set check out. Set check out 3500. And then it also has mode. So it has, no, I'll go to this so I can show you. It has, so it has these meters. And the meters are different modes on how aggressive it'll used to uh, like how aggressive it'll be checking out the task. So meter one is like slow mode. Meter two is normal. I had most success with normal, but I've heard in restocks, these two burn mode and aggressive can work better. And to do that, you just do set meter. And then you do the number of which one you want. So if I want to do aggressive mode, set meter three, aggressive mode on. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If I miss anything or you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and make sure to like and subscribe.